Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, let's learn about heredity and genetics. What is heredity? Heredity, the passing on of traits from one generation to the next generation. What is a trait? A trait is a specific characteristic that is unique. Traits affect the way we look. Traits affect how our bodies function. Traits are inherited. Examples are hair color, eye color, hardness, etc. How do we keep track of traits? We use a pedigree chart to keep track of how traits are passed down from one generation to another. What is a pedigree? A pedigree is a diagram that shows the history of a trait as it is passed from one generation to the next generation. Pedi uh, pedigree indicates pattern. Pedigrees identify ca carriers of genetic disorders. Pedigrees are useful for genetic counseling. Example, a pedigree is like a family tree for one trait. Rules for making a pedigree. Females are represented by circles. Males are represented by squares. Mother or father couples are connected by a line. Offsprings are shown oldest on the left to youngest on the right. Half shaded circle represents a female carrier for the trait. Half shaded square represents a male carrier for the trait. Full shaded circle represents a female with the trait. Full shaded square represents a male with the trait. What is Mendelian genetics? Gregor Mendel was an Augustian monk who lived in the late 19th century and through studying peace developed the basis for the science of genetics still used today. Here is what he found. What kinds of traits are there? There are either dominant or recessive traits. Dominant trait. A dominant trait is a trait that is always expressed or shown. Examples are brown hair, brown eyes, right handed, etc. Recessive trait. A recessive trait is a trait that is covered up or seems to disappear. Examples are blonde hair, blue eyes, left handed. Where do traits come from? Factors that make up an individual come from both parents. The trait information is passed down from one generation to another generation in the form of genes. Where do genes come from? An individual needs two genes for each trait, one gene from each parent. This gene pair is called an alley. One gene comes from the sperm cell from his father and one gene comes from the egg cell from the mother. How do genes get their information? A chromosome is a structure in the cell that contains the genetic information. This information is passed on from one generation to the next generation. Here is the chromosome. They contain the genes. Gene representation. How do we write our genetics? The name of the dominant trait uh, determines what letter is used to represent the gene. Use a capital letter of the first uh, letter of the dominant trait to represent the dominant gene. Use a small version of the first letter of the dominant trait for the recessive gene. Example, right-handedness is the dominant trait, so use R for the dominant gene and use R for the recessive gene for left-handedness. Another example is 
tal is the dominant trait so we t uh, and t for the recessive gene for short how are genes expressed traits are how are genes show and since traits are formed from two genes they are described by the com combination of genes that make the pair traits are described as either homogeneous pure heterogeneous mixed how do we predict offspring a punnett square is a way to show the possible combinations of genes that the offspring of parents could have what is a phenotype a phenotype is the way that we look or appear example brown eyes blonde hair tall short what is genotype genotype is the genetic makeup for a trait example homogeneous brown bb pure brown both genes are the same what is an incomplete dominance incomplete dominance is when the neither gene that determines the trait dominates so the recessive trait is not fully hidden the result is a mixed genetic trait that is neither dominant nor recessive example white ww and red rr which results in pink which is the mixture of red and white how do genes control traits dna dna is the instructional code that the genes use to form traits DNA is the longest thread of materials found in all cells. DNA contains the master code that instructs all cells in their daily jobs. Genes are short pieces of DNA that make up our chromosomes. Each piece of DNA that is related to a gene makes up one trait. The full form of DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. Structure of DNA DNA looks like a twisted ladder made up of chemical compounds called bases. How bases make up DNA? There are four types of bases in DNA: adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. These are, these bases fit together like puzzle pieces. Adenine with thymine and uh, cytosine with guanine. But what are genes exactly? Genes are pieces of DNA that make up a trait. Different genes cons consist of different arrangements of the adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine bases. These bases cannot can be arranged to uh, form different proteins, chemical messages. These messages control different traits. some determine how we we'll look so some determine how we feel and function there are many millions of possible combinations of these four bases this account for the difference differences and similarities between life forms on earth traits from proteins All characteristics are affected by the DNA in the cells of the individual organism. These characteristics are called traits. Traits depend on the types of proteins that the four bases A, C, G, T make up. How do we look the way we do? Parents pass on copies of their DNA to their offspring. The DNA from each parent combines to form the DNA of the offspring. how the offspring develops depends on instructions coded in the dna donated by both parents offsprings are similar to parents but different due to the most many po uh, possible combinations of the four bases every individual is unique thank you guys for watching my videos meet you in the next video
and if then like this video subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't yet and share this video with your friends and family thank you for watching bye